I'm going to do a video on uh, how to clean this mushroom blocks and I'm just going to see after I clean whether this mushroom block can flush again or not so as you can see showing you I only see lots of uh, fungus looks moldy but this is one of the mistakes that I made where I over water okay I think I have sprayed too much of water which encouraged lots of bugs to grow inside this block as you can see over here I'm not sure in this video you can see or not there are lots of bugs and also the color is like you know very brownish in color so I don't feel like I can save this anymore I just need to throw this okay into my garden and see whether it flushes out or not okay and uh, yeah first I got this then I purchased this normal block from another supplier uh, on 20 I think this one I got it on 26th of July and after some time it actually flushes but it flushed but uh, the flush was like not healthy and then um, it was like too dried very small mushroom so what I did I plucked and I just threw it because it was like useless then I realized there is a patch over here and the patch here there are bugs inside and I think still I can save this so I'm going to open this packet and I'm going to try to clean it by using salt water which I'm going to show you guys in a while so let's put it here this one no choice I have to throw Okay, I'm just going to wear some gloves because I don't want these bugs to get on my hand. And I'm going to use a box. Okay, box like this. And I'm just going to throw this. The spawns are still inside. So I think we can try to save this. Just adding some salt water, which is hot. I thought of like, you know, removing this patch because I see too much of bugs from this patch here. But, uh, it's like useless because the bugs are quite a lot so what I'm planning to do is basically cut this from here and then transfer it into another plastic and just wait and see how it grows okay so let's put it here I'm going to use box here to cut it because I don't see the bugs like going down here it's all at the top only so I just wanted to remove the top part Cut off, this is how it looks like. 
you know and I can see the mycelium here let me have a quick look whether there is any bug still roaming around this part or not Yeah, it looks healthy for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off this plastic and then transfer this into another plastic. the mycelium smells so woody it's the final visible check it looks good I got these caps here so I'm planning to just leave it like this I'm going to put it back here and then um, leave it for like uh, maybe 10 days and then wanted to open up and see if there is anything or not Okay, that's all. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is basically uh, I'm going to throw the top part of the chopped substrate into my garden and see if it fruits or not. Okay, so let me show because of my garden. There is a shady part here. So basically this is the shady part. Okay, so I'm just going to throw the block over here and see whether the mushroom can grow from here or not. Okay. After I throw, I'll show you. Through my yep. More, more, more. So the top part of my block, I just threw it over here, and uh, let's see what happens to this block. <laughs>